fantastic human. Hello. A while back, and I genuinely forgotten about this, Goodnotes popped a prompt to go back to Goodnotes 5 from Goodnotes 7. I had to say yes because curiosity always wins with me. Did any of you guys get the same offer? I took the plunge and wow. It felt like stepping into fresh air. So in this video, I'm going to share what it felt like going back, what I loved straight away, what I missed, and why, painfully, I still can't stay there. First impression, the bottom toolbar. The second I saw it, I smiled. Knowing me, I'm probably one of the humans who pushed for the toolbar to move in the first place. I still wish the developers had gone in the direction closer to notability, where you have that clean, practical layout without digging into folders. But they didn't. So moving the toolbar ended up feeling like we jumped out of a boiling pot into the fire. With the toolbar at the bottom, I get more room for my documents without the annoying, not so useful sidebar. And I miss that. And it's not just the toolbar. GoodNotes 5 feels more minimalist than GoodNotes 7 in general. Even the notebook menu, it looks simpler and straightforward. GoodNotes 7 can do more, sure, but the trade-off hits me every single time. The menu feels bigger, heavier, and it covers too much of the screen for what should be a very simple task. And there's something I realized. Even though we have custom pages now in GoodNotes 7, I never use them. I still stick to the A4 every single time. GoodNotes 5 still covers a lot of what I actually do. Then there's the old toolbar. I didn't know I had attachment issues until this video. But boy, was I happy to see it again. It isn't customizable, but I still prefer it because it doesn't put the lasso as the first tool. Petty? Maybe. But there's no need to customize a toolbar in GoodNotes 5 because it's perfect. And frankly, the lasso tool bothered me so much. Obviously. Thing is, I don't want my workflow to start with selecting things. I want to start with writing. I also prefer the white toolbar to the blue one in GoodNotes 7. It feels lighter, easier on the eyes, and more let me focus. Plus, pen options, thickness, and colors are more direct. I don't have extra steps between my brain and the page in GoodNotes 5, but in GoodNotes 7, I often feel like I'm navigating the user interface more than I'm actually taking notes. A bit of an exaggeration, but not that far-fetched. In GoodNotes 5, everything stays closer, faster, cleaner, accessible. It still brings a lot of the modern essentials. Collaboration works, so I can share notes and work with other people. Comments work too, which I love because sometimes you don't want to rewrite a section, you want to talk about it. And I also like how body text can overlap with handwriting. It feels weird, yes, and probably not the best thing you want for your notes, but it's more flexible than the separation we've got in GoodNotes 7. So I prefer that over separating the two like they don't even belong together. So if you're the kind of person who takes typed as well as handwritten notes, this setup in GoodNotes 5 is a lot better. But I do want to be fair. There's one thing missing. It's the one thing that could pull me back to GoodNotes 7. Linking. GoodNotes 5 lets me link to websites, but it won't let me link to other pages 
inside a notebook or jump between documents in the way that I can in the newer version of the app. And depending on how you work, that alone might become the deal breaker because links change everything when you build your notes. So, would I keep GoodNotes 5 in iPadOS 26? Yes. If I had two iPads or if I use GoodNotes as my daily note taking app, I would keep it because in 2026, GoodNotes 5 feels like a better app than GoodNotes 7 for what I personally want from this kind of app. Not too many features, no AI, just solid old fashioned digital handwritten notes. And now for the frustrating part. I can't keep it even if I wanted to because I need to stay current with the latest versions of the apps that we cover because that's just part of my job. So for me, GoodNotes 5 ends up as a little time machine visit and then I have to go back to the present. But I want to throw this back to you. If you're using GoodNotes 6 or 7 right now, would you ever consider going back to GoodNotes 5? What would make you switch? And until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.